Wow, that's irrelevant. Hey, Velvet. Do you know where Eleanor is? Wasn't she just playing with you? Yeah. But then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? All right, all right, fine. Just don't cry on me, okay? As far as I can tell, too, this is the permanent music for this island. Which is kind of funny, given, you know, what this place is. You're gonna loot right now? Yep. This is not fitting music for a pirate base. We need to talk to, uh, to Elgemese about building some piratey stuff, right? Yeah. I'd like to see Aizen and Vice have a conversation. They'd probably get along pretty well. Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. <sighs> Bit drunk. <laughs> Just try not to go overboard. But man, are we a bunch of screw ups or what? I mean, we've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. Broke out of prison, flattened Helavis, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you to tag along. No, I still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa, to me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19. <laughs> that has to be a localization thing. Huh. A most interesting That's not true. interpretation. Drinking age, I think, in what Japan do you make is of twenty. This part here, then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney Kyle, then it'd mean midriff, which probably isn't right. Maybe Muse Mila? <laughs> well, that would make this passage read Porges are nummy. Uh okay. I'm sure you yeah, recognize Loney right Kyle here. too. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point... The Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm, no matter how choppy the seas. Where angels fear to tread, as they say? <laughs> Probably some of that as well. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty distinctly unoccupied to me right now. Right. I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... what? It's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogilu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? 
I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm unoccupied. Right, now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out, don't I? Well, that was a music hiccup. That was my sound system. Oh, it usually cuts out for longer than that. I don't remember which tower if this is the... Okay, good. The other tower is the one that she's at the top of, so that'll be the last place I go. I appreciate Velvet's solution to going down ladders. I wonder if there's a cat's imprisoned here. We were just down here, weren't we? Isn't this where, uh, Velvet Cell is? It is, but there's areas to explore down here that we could access or on our first trip through here. I remember only one of these was unlocked the first time we were here. This area is much easier to explore without enemies. This is the first one I went in. 
I mean, there's a treasure chest in here, so... It had to have been the first one I went in, I got... This is the one I haven't been down. I think that other one was the right one. Where was that treasure chest? Carefully. And we got that back. At some point, we need to continue that Omega Elixir quest, too. Well, the next one of the... Oh, did we not turn that back into the kid? No. Because no. the next part of that quest, until we get access to Helovis again, is not able to be done. But I have a feeling we're going to get access to Helovis shortly. master anything from that last boss? Uh, I was thinking about that when I picked those up. We'll have to check that in a second. I really wonder at what point in the game you head back to Velvet's Village. Wow. That's so many. Sears is just back to her prison. <coughs> you know, this seems like a poor place to store all the Therians because this island is on an Earth Pulse Point. yellow when it returned with it, so it was... I was just because it was new? Maybe. Perhaps we could use it as an ingredient to fire a cannon? Better yet, we could use it to learn Pirate's Wrath. I'm sure Aizen would be a fan of that move. Could be a mystic art for Aizen. <clears throat> oh, maybe since he's a brawler, he'd rather have Hand of Fate. Oh boy, a dark bottle. worried about you. You actually came looking for me? Can't say no to a crying child. 
Uh, indeed. She may be a Therian now, but deep down, she's still a lonely little girl. That's something I've come to realize in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians, even the Malachim who I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. I was so clueless. I didn't know what demon blight really was, nor what the Abbey was doing. Through it all, I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The coward's path is not that of an exorcist. They may say, I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. I think I'll stay here a little longer to cool my head off. Please tell Kamalana I'm all right. Don't stay out too long. The sea breeze can get cold. <sighs> Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. If you got sick or something, Kamuana and Lafis that would worry. That's all. I have something to say. There's something I've been hiding, until now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. I was to watch over the Malik Lafayette and bring him to Abbey headquarters. So vital was the mission, I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were gonna take me to them. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Laffy said. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However, I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. You're turning your back on Artorias? No. I still believe in the sincerity of Lord Artorias. That the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless... I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision, so... I will help you protect the Therians, until I discover the answer I seek. Eleanor! <coughs> I want to live a life that I don't have to be ashamed of, and to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> so, you live by your emotions after all. Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness. Don't equate us. To act in opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. You never make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah, after all, she's my vessel. Yes, yes. The party does not exhibit much surprise because we all knew Eleanor was working against us anyway. <laughs> There's a bunch so, of skits about that. I think that. our next order of business is to find ourselves another Therian. Well, that's the extent of my insight. Anyone got any actual leads? What if we had Eleanor swipe some intel on them from the Abbey? That could work. I don't know. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor, so who would leak anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And anyway, Eleanor's terrible at being a spy. Ungracious, but accurate. You know that special underground cell from yesterday? I want to go back there. There's something I want to try out. All right, let's go. Is that Velvet's last element?
Be nice, wouldn't it? It sure is. So now you can upgrade equipment. What status effect do you think is the most common or the most obnoxious? Slow comes up, seems to come up a lot. It does. Look into the rest of her equipment. It's been a long time since she's mastered some of this stuff. I mean, she hasn't had that weapon that long. She's had that, that uh, ribbon forever, but it requires a ton. Laffy said? I must offer you an apology. What for? For spying. I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. I am truly sorry. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... you did? Call it a hunch. Besides, Velvet was really suspicious of you. Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me. I think Velvet knew too. <sighs> That's quite a shock. I failed completely in my role as a spy. <laughs> it's pathetic. Shameful, really. Well, I think it says something good about you. Huh? Someone who can't lie well seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Laffy said. I think you're the better person here. I wouldn't go that far. Hmm? What are you doing here, Tianku? <laughs> I was hoping you'd let me join in! We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for now. I'll be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. <laughs> Madame Eleanor is a mealy head! She's a what? Laffy said. Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. I think I'm finally getting the hang of cooking without testing the taste. You know, I've always thought you were a really good cook, Velvet. It's not so hard. All you have to do is follow the recipe. After my sister died, I always did the cooking. The most important thing is adding just the right amount of salt, and the final adjustments of flavor. Oh, and once you're just about done, you have to make a wish that it turns out tasty. You wish for flavor? Yeah. So long as you do that, anything will turn out tasting good. Salika taught me that. It sounds like your sister was quite the master chef. Oh, I don't know about that. But now I'll never be her match. I've lost my taste, sure. But I've also forgotten what it even feels like to taste something delicious. What I make isn't really food. It's merely sustenance. I don't think that's true, Velvet. No. 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 <laughs> this is great! You're a fine chef, Velvet. I just remembered something my sister said. She always wished for our food to taste good. Because she wanted to see us happy when we ate it. Oh? <laughs> And she said I ate like a pig, too. I... I don't think you do. It's a good thing. You should eat a lot, too, so you can grow up big and strong. Hey, Bienfu, I have a question for you. I know Magilu likes to call herself a witch and all that, but what is she really? The obvious guess would be that she's an exorcist, but I don't think I ever saw her name in the roster. That's not surprising! She is indeed a bona fide dark witch! I should know. I saw one night just how scary she could be. It's enough to keep you awake at night. It was near the crater of a volcano. 
Above the bubbling magma sat a huge cauldron. Inside the cauldron, a blood-red liquid stickily simmered, boiling in the hellfire heat. When droplets splattered onto Miss Magilu's cheeks, she just cackled and licked it off. And she kept the cauldron boiling for three days and three nights. What was she making? Strawberry jam. What? What's scary about that? I was just getting to the scary part. Instead of using sugar, she put in soy sauce, cooking wine, and liquor! Soy sauce and strawberries? Is that normal? You wouldn't think so, but that contrasted sweetness, sourness, and saltiness actually makes it taste great. Not that someone like you would understand the appeal. You have to have a refined palate like mine to appreciate it. Wait, I've heard of that. You can boil things in soy sauce and wine to preserve them. When you do it with strawberries, it's called strawberry soup. That's right! Actually, strawberry soup has sea urchin and abalone, not strawberries. It's just called that because the sea urchin plumps up like berries. And it's not preserved either. Really? Well, I had no idea! Wow, I really liked it too! I wonder if the reason she's never made it for me again is because she realized the mix-up! Now that I think about it, that's not the only thing I like that she made one time. Like durian jellies and the candied sweet fish, too. I think I see what's going on here. What does the food she's made more than once taste like? It's just normal stuff, like what you guys always have. Only a truly scary witch could hide that much cooking talent behind such plain tasting food with no one the wiser. <laughs> I know this smell. Yeah, it's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. Part it's of the reason why there are so many skits here is because this is basically the land. end of the next, the I've noticed second that you act and of the game. Yeah. Smell nice too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh, can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria scented ones, only the royal family can use. But most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? You know, I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's a bit complicated. To explain it right, I'd have to start with the history of bathing in Midgand. A few hundred years ago, people believed they would die if they took a bath. They were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even go near one. I can't believe people would be scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? Well, at the time, a deadly plague was running rampant, and people thought that it could be transmitted through bath water. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep. As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. With fragrant woods now harder to come by, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. So, 
What do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Huh? This island is so amazing! It's far away from any other people and has so much hidden stuff underground! It's such a perfect hideout! Just thinking about it makes me so excited to be here! Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before! Don't be such a drag, Loppy Set! It's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those Maron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of secret fort are you not getting? Yeah. But it can't all be just for fun and games here either. In order to maximize the success of our future battles, we need to maintain and improve this base going forward. This place seems sturdy as it is. Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing exactly? Well, I think we need to start with smokescreen generators. They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout here. Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Helavis was really scary. We have Molochim like you who could use water arts, though. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. What we really need are some secret underground tunnels. If things get too hairy here, we'll need an underground escape route. We can put in hidden doors and even some fake ones to trick the enemy, too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground <laughs> tunnels before anything else. But we're on an island. You know, surrounded by water. Where would these tunnels even lead to? Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the <laughs> sea to another uninhabited island nearby. But there are no other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. <laughs> Are you listening to what you're saying? It sounds like he's daydreaming to me. And what's wrong with having some dreams? This is a great opportunity we have here. You guys just don't get it. It's okay. I get where you're coming from. But they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. <laughs> that, is, that line is great. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build one. <laughs> Surprisingly, the Earth Malik wants to dig underground tunnels. <laughs> that skit's incredible. Time to run to the opposite side of the fort. There's an inn in here. Yeah. The oldest known map of the world was made by... Wow, it took them decades! You always look so happy when you've got your nose in a book. What's so interesting about the one you've got there? It's a book about surveying. When I read it... I can imagine myself traveling afar and making maps of the world. It sounds like so much fun. I know just how you feel. I know Mogilu and the others don't understand. But I just can't help but feel excited when I think about us completing a map of the entire world. It's the thought of treasure that gets me more fired up. Obviously, there's treasure waiting to be unearthed too, but that's more of a bonus on the side. 
crossing uncrossable oceans, going to lands where none have gone before. The voyage itself, the dance with death, these things hold yeah, he'd get along with that of any treasure. <laughs> ah, adventure! Truly the romance of the quest we call life. Laffy said you had a map, didn't you? The one you dropped when we first met? It's a world map I got when I was with the Abbey. But I only checked out the places really close by. I could hardly call it adventure. There's more to adventuring than visiting far-off lands and sailing stormy seas, you know. Adventures are about achieving your ambitions and leaping across the walls we've built to protect ourselves, no matter the danger that waits on the other side. There are no big or small adventures. Even if I only went to Helavis in the Fegal ice caps? Think of it like this. When you sneaked out of town without the Abbey noticing, when you walked the land and compared it to your map, how did that make you feel? It was scary, but fun. Exhilarating. Then it was an adventure. The map you made within yourself is a treasure that's only yours. Wow, my very own treasure. I swear, the second he has a spare moment, he buries himself in his books. Knowledge opens up bigger worlds. I imagine that back when Teresa was bossing him around, reading was a fun escape, an adventure in and of itself. Hmm? What's up, you guys? You're reading a pretty hard book there, aren't you? <laughs> this? It's about dinosaurs. It says that long before humans were around, these huge creatures ruled the world. There are so many different kinds, like Tyrannosaurs and Triceratops and Brachiosaurs. They're all so cool. They look like dragons to me. They look similar, but dinosaurs couldn't live inside volcanoes, and they didn't do well in the cold either. But they were crazy huge and strong. Nothing else could even compete with them. I bet they would have made for great sparring partners. I think this Gigantospinosaurus might be my favorite. Those two huge points jutting out from both sides of its body make it look just like you and your two swords. Actually, it's also known as the dual-bladed dragon. Wow, it really does sound like a perfect match for me then. Okay, so if they weren't dragons, what were they? They look a lot like lizards. Maybe they're like my ancestors <laughs> or something. But you used to be a human. <laughs> Damn, I think I might have gotten a bit too used to this new body of mine. I wonder if their tails can fall off, too. <laughs> if tail didn't fall off. You don't remember the way to help itself. No, I do. I'm just... I'm just checking to see if there aren't scenes in the towers. There's scenes there sometimes. One of which I know is amusing. Because you, you come back here a lot. From this point forward. Is there not a way to just check on the map? Well, like, pull up the map and use L1 and R1 on it. Not that map. Because, yeah, you should be able to do that. Good point. <coughs> Looks like there's one exclamation mark on one of the maps. Oh, North Watchtower. Or, no, Outer Path. Oh, 
look forward to getting the Geo Board. Making proper use of the map is a uh, time saver. Yeah. Looks like you like this island. Fly free, noble hawk. Hunt to your heart's content, Crocky. Crocky. Looks like they got a leak. Can you use the, uh, Denic bottles to warp to the entrance of this place? Yep. about earth pulse points they're where the flow of the earth pulse the earth's natural forces are concentrated right and Enominot is using those points to acquire malevolence and reawaken himself you seem to have a knack for sensing them out once you're close enough you can even pinpoint their location except I don't have to be close at all when we came here yesterday I felt another place a place just like this. Are you saying you can use this Earth Pulse Point as a conduit to find the others? I think so. I don't know how far it works, and I can't say if Ethereum will be on the other end. Still, it'll give us something real to go on. Please, give it a try. Okay. Anything? Yes, I felt it. There are dozens of Earth Pulse points scattered around, but I sensed a few big ones that stood out. So you can even detect their size? Yeah, at least I think I can. This island is one of the big ones. There are two more like it somewhere to the east and the southeast. But I think those are the Warg Forest and the Temple of Palamedes. Still. That suggests we're more likely to find Therians at the larger Earth Pulse points. We've got three Therians to go. Anything that helps us narrow down our choices is a boon. Yeah, you've done great work today, Lafayette. That's for sure. Thank goodness you're here. You're a marvel. One of the wonders of the world, kiddo. 
It's not that big of a deal, really. Hmm. Then let's go Therian hunting. We have an honest to goodness lead, or dishonest to badness in our case. Broke again. Still not good enough. You think it's your swords that are weak? You don't think maybe your body's just stupid tough? No. If it can't cut me, it's just not good enough. I need stronger materials to make a better sword. I'd love to try Orichalcum, but getting that stuff is next to impossible. Orichalcum. That's the strongest metal in the world, right? A rare metal that's only been found in ancient ruins, and seldom at that. I've seen fragments of the metal myself, but I've never even heard of a piece large enough to forge into a weapon. I have. I heard a rumor that a block of orichalcum was discovered in an ancient ruin some 200 years ago. Unfortunately, the boat carrying it sank in a storm. From the depths of the earth to the depths of the sea. A sunken ship. Treasure at the bottom of the sea. <sighs> that would stir any sailor's heart. If we knew where to find it, could it be salvaged? The ship's crew drowned, so nobody knows where she sank. Besides, it's a centuries-old rumor. Who's to say it's even true? Right. <laughs> no sense in wishing for what can't be gotten. I'm sure there's other material you can use. <laughs> Even Dial makes a good point sometimes. Hey, what do you mean, even Dial? Even Dial's getting angry! Saying it like that's just weird, Kamoana. Even Kamoana's getting weird! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our target is an Earth Pulse point about as big as the one here. Let's start with the closest one and go from there. Which way is it? The closest one is to the west. Got it. Lead the way, Lafayette. My pleasure. Scout ships. So we have three scenes on this level. And mercifully, not on any other level. <laughs> Shouldn't we go back for that one first, though? Because this is where we end. Oh. Okay. Totally. Miss that. I bet this is a commonly missed scene, whatever it is. I know what it is. Hey, Kurigane, let me ask you something. More complaining, is it? Come on, don't be like that. Every time I turn around, Velvet or one of the pirates is telling me to go make some delivery to some island. I can never get a break. Isn't that just a sign they think you're a dependable guy? Maybe, but I don't see them sending you off on errands. It's like they take one look at your face and decide to leave you alone. I don't have a face. Oh, right, sorry. The slip of the tongue. Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's more than you think. Anything to do with iron, I do it. Making tools, repairing things. What do you take me for? Some kind of cheeky freeloader? I don't even have cheeks. <laughs> You're too funny, but doesn't it ever annoy you to have all these kids giving you orders? I've spent my entire life thinking of nothing but forging swords. <laughs> it's been centuries since I've interacted with youngsters like them. It can be a hassle, but at least it's a new hassle. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, so I went along with whatever they asked. But I've been too nice, so they keep pushing work onto me. Maybe if I hadn't been so helpful, they would have stayed out of my face like they stay out of yours. I don't have a face. <laughs> That's not the point. Aren't you even listening to what I'm saying here? 
You need to make up your mind. You and I got on this ship alongside these people, who are putting themselves in great danger in order to live the lives of their choosing. If you don't like it, then go on and get off this ship with your tail between your legs. Yeah, except I don't have a tail right now. <laughs> Team dismemberment. <laughs> In order to be part of our crew, you have to remove part of your body. Having her arm cut off was very tragic for Vel, or tra traumatic for Vel, but she wanted to share the experience. <laughs> I lost a bet to a young man, and he dared me to prove my courage by sailing out to a class 4 island. Now, I can handle myself, but man, it ain't fun and games there. I nearly got killed by demons. You actually stepped foot on a class 4 island? Not even. I was still approaching it by ship when this stuff that looked like spider silk started spreading round. These bug-looking demons were using the stuff to try and climb aboard my ship. Damnation! The crew cut those threads as fast as anything, and we got the hell out of there. The whole thing left me bawling. Well, I'm glad to see you made it out safely. I'd suggest not going near there again. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't planning on it. I had enough of that place to last me a lifetime. I'm glad dark or uh, white turtles moved up front. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I understand why the Abbey turned this island into a prison. The waters here are filled with rapid sea currents. Make a single wrong turn of the rudder, and your ship will be capsized just like that. Not to mention the fog and all the storms that pass by. It must be nearly impossible to escape. Aye. To get on and off this island, you'd need a vast store of nautical knowledge and a skilled hand. Thanks to your curse, Eisen, we've gotten good enough to handle rough seas like this. The storm that kicked up when we made our escape was huge, and all we had were three novice sailors. Thinking back on it, we had some seriously good luck. The first mate told me we're going to be looking for an Earth Pulse thingy, right? The ship's ready to leave whenever. Do you want to depart now? <laughs> It's here! This is the Earth Pulse Point! Nothing but open water as far as the eye can see. Is your Earth Pulse Point down below? Oh. Uh, Most of this world is covered by ocean, so of course there'd be a lot of Earth Pulse Points in the deep sea. But surely even the Abbey would have a hard time... We at level 20 after the last fight, right? right? Looks like this one's a bust, then. We'll have to look. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. We've seen a bug, Therian. You don't think there could be fish as well? You may have a point. I think I have just a solution for this. You do? This. What? what? Don't give me that look. I'll have you know this is Fujibayashi's rod. This baby's nine feet long, made from a single piece of the finest bamboo aged five years, with a slow 60-40 action that almost feels alive when it bends. Its exquisitely wrapped handle feels like an extension of your own arm. And just look at that elegant black lacquer finish. It's as perfect a fishing rod as there can be. I'm... I'm sure it's a lovely fishing pole, but... Fishing? Are you sure? This is a Therian we're talking about. All the more reason. Remember who you travel with. Uh, okay? All right, if no one else will, I'm going to veto this fishing idea. Aw, oh, come on, let's give it a shot. Besides, I'm hungry. Even if all we catch is fish, at least we'll have dinner. Mm, I'd love to have me some koi or sockeye salmon. Don't encourage them. How do you attach the hook to the line? Like this? 
<laughs> you don't go fishing much, do you? It's just been a while. I used to go fishing with my brother sometimes. This is my first time. Then we can try it together. I'll teach you how it's done. I didn't know you could fish, Eleanor. Yeah, when I was little, old man Tenny taught me. He was from my village. I've caught at least a hundred triot loaches over the years. Triot? Wow, that's a lot of fish. Those two really get along. If I didn't know better, I think she's his sister, not his vessel. Eleanor certainly got Lafayette's number. Better watch out, Velvet, or she'll steal him away. Luffy said. Let's get the line set up properly. First, you take it and thread it through the hook, like so. That looks hard. Hey, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it with your eyes shut. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Luffy! Huh? You mean me? Oh, um, I was just... Be careful there. Wouldn't want you falling into the water or anything. I'm not a little kid, you know. It's just that Luffy fell in once. A long time ago. Luffy? You mean your younger brother? That's right. You reminded me of him is all. If you say so. Is that all you wanted to say to me? Yeah, that's it. Okay then. I'm going back to fishing with Eleanor. Mm-mm. People aren't as easily swapped in and out as fish hooks, are they? Is that supposed to mean something? Oh, Velvet, uh, you gotta get it a lot tighter than that. Here, let me take a look at it. Huh? Oh, uh, all right. <sighs> yeah, you don't get to spend time with Lafayette, you get to spend time with Benwick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, level 20. Can I have my rod back now? Hey, don't rush me here. If I don't get this squared away now, it'll just cause you trouble later. I appreciate the effort and all, but do you seriously think we'll actually catch a Therian here? Beats me, but the first mate hasn't met a fish he can't catch. Huh, Aizen's really that accomplished of a fisherman? Hey, Aizen, how about a competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. Don't be ridiculous. Fishing is a solitary battle. It's about meditation and self-control. Oh, aren't you the philosophical one all of a sudden? <sighs> but I suppose. I can't deny I really want to put this rod to the test. Yeah, I know that feeling. Whenever I find a good sword, there's nothing I want to do more than to swing it. Sure enough. There's just something about good equipment that gets the blood pumping. Yeah. Although in my case, it's usually more like blood spurting. A bit too much blood either way, if you ask me. Listen, we're fishing no matter what. Wouldn't a competition be better for getting that blood of yours pumping? Fine. You're on. But we both know already how this is gonna end. <laughs> <coughs> you can plan all the victory speeches you like, but fishing is like life. Doesn't always go the way you think it will. You ready? Let's do this. At what point did the Therian <laughs> hunt turn into a contest? If you truly admired the fishies, you'd never dream of doing this to them. No matter how tasty the bait, it's a poor trade for a barbed hook in the lip and a cruel death in the unforgiving air. I don't admire fish. Fish exist to be caught and eaten, as far as I'm concerned. Can't argue there. Raw, boiled, or grilled with a little salt. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and if they're nothing but food to you, even their wretched squirms of agony can hold a kind of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Old man Tenny sounds like he was a real goofball. Definitely. He used to say the weirdest things while we'd be fishing, just to make me laugh. Like what? Oh, it was all nonsense, but it was funny to me. The silly stuff like... Papero popero pippity poppity poo <laughs> Yeah, that's silly, all right. Those two look like they're having fun. Hey, Velvet! I've got your rod all set up for you! This thing could even catch a whale if you wanted to. The rest is up to you. Now get out there and fish up a big one. A Therian, you mean. Uh, might as well give it a shot. It's not like anyone else remembers what we're here for. Oh! Something's pulling the line! Stay calm. Fishing isn't about strength, it's about timing. Oh, okay. Got it. Here it comes. You ready? 
<laughs> Damn right I am. I'll fillet it before it can even land. If it's a Therian, don't you dare kill it. Now! Heave! Well, what do you know? Neither a fish nor a Therian. Well, shoot. Can't eat that. Oh. It looks like it fit you, though, Laffy said. Why don't you try it on? I concur. Maybe it'll bring out his unique personality. My unique personality, huh? See? What did I tell you? It looks great on you, Laffy said. You... you really think so? Yeah. Brings out your special charm, kiddo. Come on. Back to Therian fishing. Oh. Hey, you don't need to take it so seriously. I have to catch the Therian. Maybe then Velvet will see me for who I am. Uh, not a bite. Oh, quit your grumbling. Who was it who said fishing doesn't always go how you think it will? <laughs> Spoken like a true heartless pirate. Oh, hey! I've got something! <sighs> Whoa! Looks like I'm next! <sighs> Not a single decent catch. I think it's decent. Huh? It's Alicia! <laughs> Don't take half measures, do you, kid? Hmm? What's wrong, Laffy said? You look ridiculous. Take that off. Stop it! What do you know about me anyway? I... I know that looks silly on you. All you know is you're Laffy! Hey, Velvet, something's pulling on your rod. Huh? Oh. It's a big one. Give it everything you've got. I know what I'm doing. You know, this doesn't make any it's... sense. It's a big one, all right, but... A pot. Yay. <sighs> What's a pot doing out here? There's something inside it. An octopod? Quickly throw an elixir at it. <laughs> I wish they'd stop making those noises. Watch out! They're all to the street! And they're shouting, let's speed up, lady! Must you... Feel the Feel the It's over, right? Phew, that was scary. Be more careful before you approach a suspicious object. You think Laffy would have stayed back? That has nothing to do with this! Hold on. There's something else inside. Get up here! Now we gotta fight the shambling dead? A zombie pot? 
for a bunch of dead guys. They're awfully, uh, less... Further support for the Healthy Octopus Diet. Break in! Break in! Break in! We're finished here. Let's go. An octopus army? A horde of undead? What the hell is this pot? Magnificent. To think I'd get to see one with my own eyes. Huh? Is there something special about this creepy old pot? <laughs> creepy, you say? That's why these things need to be left to the professionals. Listen and behold. This is none other than a water jug made by the potter Groon during King Claudius' reign. It was a legendary once-in-a-millennium masterpiece, but it was lost in the Second Warring States period 200 years ago. Assertive, yet not ostentatious, the piece draws you in with its stately curves and the subtle shimmer of its colors, which belie a hidden savagery. <sighs> Two lectures in one day? <sighs> yeah. He's talking gibberish, but that's men in general, I suppose. The lost glazing technique of the Orasaurin is so vibrant, it looks like it could start moving at any moment. Huh? Oh, an actual boss? Yep. Our party is not right, oh, by the way. start moving, it did. Look out! The pot's a demon! 